What's up guys? Welcome to today's tip. We're going to be talking about how to read defensive coverages in Madden NFL 16. Uh, for those of you guys that are, are new to our YouTube channel here, my name is Cody and the mission of our YouTube channel is to provide tips and opportunities for you to improve your game in Madden NFL 16. We do this through a variety of things, but today we're going to be focusing on uh, how to read the defense. This is one of the components of, of offense and in my opinion this is the most important tip that I will give out all year. Uh, this is the most important tip I'll give out ever. Uh, this is this is this is the one thing. If you were to ask me, what can I do to improve? It would be this one thing: learn how to read the defense. And there's a couple of key principles we're going to be doing as we go throughout this series. Today's video, we're going to focus on safeties. Okay, so we're talking pre-snap slash post-snap reads, and we're just going to use a, a basic spread formation. We're just going to use a standard five wide uh, for this, and we're just going to use a basic passing concept. Let's see if we can find something here. Uh, we'll just use curl flats. This is a really simple play. Now, defensively, they're probably going to come out in quarters or dime. Uh, and so to make this easy, we're just going to come out in the quarters. And we're going to go through how to read if uh, cover four, cover three, cover two. Those are the top three you're going to see. And you're also going to see different variances of those. What we're focusing on today is safeties. So the safeties are these two players up here, these two guys up top here, Nelson and Iloka. Occasionally, what you, could, what you will see from time to time is they'll go into like a bear formation and they'll bring this safety down into the box and so you'll only have one safety up top. This safety is still a safety but he's in a linebacker position in terms of the format of the field. Uh, the way it goes is that your linemen are in the front five yards, your linebackers are in the second five to ten yards, and then your safeties are in the back dispersed. Now your corners on the outside they can kind of be, um, they can really vary to be honest, but um, but anyway, so here we go. So this is cover four. And so what this is a variance of is this is a too high safety look. Okay. So so what this means is that the two safeties are going to cover the deep shell. Now in a cover four, your corners are actually going to run deep with your vertical routes. And so what this is going to open up for us is we're going to look post snap. We see both safeties back up so we know we can hit this curl route. Right? So like it's really kind of... It's kind of hard to really explain how this works, to be honest. Uh, I'm doing my best here. When the safeties go back, what you want to have on your play is, is a play designed to beat cover two uh, high safeties on one side and a play to beat cover three high safeties on the other side. So let me show you. So this right now what we're looking at in this example of a cover four or a cover two. Th those are kind of the same basic principles. Um, and what the cover four slash cover two means is that there's only going to be um, one to two hook zones. And so the weakness of the cover four and the cover two is the underneath middle portion of the field. So what, how we like to do that is we like to beat it over the seam. So this is where you play like verticals. The verticals is going to do a really good job against the cover four. So this right side of the, of the line of scrimmage, we're going to use this to beat two high safeties, right? So what you're going to see here is on the cover four, he's going to run it. And I'm able to hit this post route up the seams to Gresham. Okay, pretty simple, right? Another tip for this is to use a drag or a streak combo. And so if I drag Larry Fitzgerald on this play, what you're going to see here is that the snap of the ball, I can hit him really quick on a little crossing route. Now the other reason that I like to do this is, is this really right here. What I like to do really is take Ellington and drag him. And what you're going to see here is it's going to leave this void open for Gresham over the middle. Right? So over the middle deep. So that's really what we're looking at now. I, I kind of have gone away what I really wanted to do here. So I want to kind of come back to this. With the two high safeties, this is going to tell you in your mind, you say, okay, I've got two high safeties. So the possibility is coverages. Pre-step, I'm thinking they were cover four, cover three, or excuse me. I'm thinking cover four because not only are the safeties off coverage, but the corners, as you see here, are off coverage. Now the weakness is, as I just discussed, the vulnerabilities of the cover four I'm going to use Hall to kind of illustrate. The vulnerabilities of the cover four is this 5 to 10 yard radius here. This 
that's where you're really looking. They're going to take away the underneath stuff, and they're going to take away the deep, deep stuff, but the intermediate, that's where you're looking to hit. So this is where plays, um, you know, like if you're going to run stick here, that's where these slant ruts are really going to come in handy. As you're going to see, I can hit square here on a little, little slant in. Obviously, if he holds on the ball, but you see the principle, okay? So now I want to talk about um, a situation, uh, another situation that you may come across, and that is when they're running two men under. Now, this is still going to be a two high safety look, but we want to show you how to beat two men under. So here you see now your corners are pressed up on the outside, so this is really kind of a tip-off that it's, it's either cover two or it's two man under. Again, the way you beat the cover two and the way you beat the two man under are very simple. What you want to do is you want to use a, a, a natural pick and rub, and so it's basically a slant flat combo is, is really what we're looking to do here. So we're going to take Ellington, and we're going to put him on a little hitch pattern. And then we're going to take Floyd. We're going to put him on a drag. And then we want to streak Jermaine Gresham. Now, this is a basic route combo you can do from your hot routes. What you're going to see is square against cover two man is going to come on a crossing pattern over the middle. If you have a really good receiver, he's going to get that nice mismatch every time. Now, I want to show you the final example here, cover two. So cover two. If you see this cover two look again, it looks very similar to the cover two man. As you see, the corners are pressed up on the outside. Now, the one difference is they're a little bit laxer, they're a little bit more relaxed in their coverage. And so that's a, kind of a tip off that it's probably cover two, but you still want to have your play set up to beat cover two, cover four, and cover two man on one side. And what you're going to see is I still have a cover three beating concept on this right side here. So here you're going to have Floyd on this crossing pattern. Again, he's just going to come across, hit him, cut up field, get five to six yards. It's a very, very, very safe option for you. The final thing I want to show you is this. In the instant replay, the key defender is in all two-man coverages, and all and, and really all two-man coverages is your linebacker. Now the safeties are going to give you a tip-off to kind of what the defense is playing with. If you have two high safeties, the most possible people you could have underneath from a standard defense is probably going to be, uh, you know, probably going to be somewhere between seven either six or seven players that you're going to be able to kind of keep underneath, right? In, in coverage, anyway. And so if two of those safeties are deep, then that leaves only five, uh, five players that you're going to have to be able to cover. So in a cover two man, you have everybody's in main coverage, and then your safeties are, you have safety help over the top. And so it's a very secure defense for that reason specifically because in the deep sections of the field, you're going to have safety help underneath is where you're going to get killed and so crossing patterns are really good for two men under they're also really good for cover two here's why because in a cover two defense this middle linebacker is going to intentionally play a little deeper over the middle of the field because he's responsible for that deep middle third All right so cover two man here the middle linebacker drops back into the middle zone you see that he's kind of staying with Jermaine Gresham on the seams not really a window there to throw that I'm able to hit this easy little crossing pattern and cut up field and get five to six easy yards. I want to show you one other thing before we get out of here. So this vertical route, this post route, the reason that it's so effective, we see a lot of people using this, is two high safeties. If you do that same route concept on the left side to kind of beat man coverage, and then also you're going to have that drive to come underneath, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to hit this high pass lead, pass lead up, you're going to be able to hit Jermaine Gresham in the seam. Okay, now that's that's the heart. The other thing you're going to be able to do, I want to show you one other thing here. I know I'm kind of rambling on, but I, I just, I'm really excited about this video. And it has a lot of weight for you guys. One other thing you're going to be able to do is if you time it right, you can actually hit Brown up the seams. Okay, now that's kind of a sketchy one. I like to kind of stay with what's open. And uh, so anyway, so if we look at this, verticals, put your hitch out there, put your drag out there. And what you're going to see here is this crossing pattern, pass lead that up, and he's going to be able to get that. He's going to be able to get that animation. Now what's going to happen is a lot of times you're going to be, the reason that it's important to even have this route on the field, because like I feel like you know this is something I used to struggle with when I'm playing, is uh, why even have the streak? Because you're not you're hardly ever throwing to it. I mean, it gets cover four and it gets cover two. You're really hitting this crossing pattern. So why would you ever have the streak on the field? Watch well, what happens if I don't have the streak real quickly, just to kind of make a point here. If I don't have the streak to Gresham, watch what watch what happens. Tackled immediately. Now that's a small little thing 
But in my opinion, it, it has a lot of weight for what we're going to do offensively. The other reason is this. If I'm user controlling, right, so if I'm if I'm playing a user, so I'm this guy. I'm the middle linebacker. A lot of people like to use this guy. And say, I'm just going to, for, for, for uh, sakes here, I'm just going to kind of man him up on Floyd. And, and so this is something they may do. They may start over here on Gresham, and then they may run to the drag route. When they do this, look who's wide open. Your streak. Your streak is going to force them to give you the drag. And your drag will eventually lead them to open up the streak. That's why you use route concepts, and that's why you read the defense. Guys, uh, I'm going to try to do a little better next time uh, on giving you some more tips. But I think that there's a lot here that you can utilize. So hopefully there is. If there's not, then uh, if you just give me, you know, if you just give me some some points in, in the comment section of things I can improve on, things you're having struggle with. We're talking reading the defense, and I think it's very important because when you know what defense they're in, it really gives you a, a, a much more a much more accessible opportunity to really make some plays out there. So, anyways, guys, that's what we've got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, also, guys, real quick, if you guys are looking to improve your offensive game, check out that ebook in the description. It's only ten dollars, in my opinion, probably one of the best offensive in the game right now. It, it really does a great job. If you're struggling beating two man under or man coverage, check out that guide. It'll fix you up real nice. But, uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow with.